Whenever it comes to support issues, it's important to know if the issue is with Blender, with your computer, or with our add-on. And so when it comes to that, there are some ways that you can eliminate multiple variables from the equation to simplify things. And one of those is loading factory defaults. Here we see my default scene. I have my cube given a bluish sort of outline. So that way you can tell that this is my default scene that I start up in inside of box cutter ready to cut and roll. However, let's say I'm experiencing an issue. Well, sometimes it's nice to click on file, go to load factory defaults, and this will load up factory blender. Of course, this can be scary to see because you think, oh my God, I've deleted all of my settings. However, if you're fully aware of what's going on, it actually isn't as scary as it looks like. For example, the only way this will become your default scene is if you click on file, go to defaults and click on save startup file, which is a couple of clicks. I recommend not doing that unless you like this startup scene. We're gonna click on edit, go to preferences, and while we're inside of preferences, I want to point out that the three little lines has autosave preferences disabled or grayed out, meaning that whenever we close this window, it's not going to save our preferences. In fact, we have to click this button for save preferences, which I recommend not doing because we are simply doing troubleshooting. We're going to just go under add-ons. We're going to enable box cutter and hard ops, and we're going to close the window. You might be used to it automatically saving your preferences, but believe me, it did not save them. I do this all day, every day, over and over, and if anything was different with it, I would know. I'm just going to press Alt W, and we see that it is closed Blender. So even though Blender crashed, we aren't aware of why it crashed. However, I went on to Google, and I simply typed in Blender Temp Output, and that told me that if I were to basically bring up my run window, and we type in percent, TMP percent, this will bring us to the temp folder. And here we see the top file being Blender Crash. And we see that it was also made this morning. So if we pop this open, we're now looking at the crash report of why Blender died. Sending us this would actually give us a lot more information as to why issues occur than just saying issue occur. And if in those cases, the only thing we can do is just test it on our side and see what actually information we can get by attempting to replicate the issue based on the information provided. If we're not provided any information, then there's not a lot of replicating that's able to be done. However, with this information, we're able to at least send that on to our team and get that resolved. However, continuing on, we are going to just pop open Blender. And here we are in a fresh version of Blender, but we did have that crash report. So I'm going to click on file. We are going to load factory settings, and we're just going to try the same thing over again. We're just going to click on box cutter, click on hard ops, click on the X, press alt W and maybe go in and do some basic configuration, you know, but for the most part, we are now good to go. Sometimes blender can get a little bit weird whenever it comes to restoring defaults in the middle of a session that's already been open. So sometimes you have to be wary of that. However, this is how we get in and test things to try to isolate whether or not it's something going on with your computer or if it's with Blender or whatever the case can be. Because if it's with Blender, then we can simply just report a bug. If it's with us, then we can simply send it up to the coders. But if it's something with your computer, then that's a level of support that I'm just not capable of providing because I'm simply just not a computer tech support specialist, unless you know me that I might be a computer tech support specialist, just kidding. But it is. it was my former profession. So here we are just working inside of Blender as if nothing is happening and this is it. You know, we went in, we've tested things in a vanilla setup just to ensure that everything is working the way it's supposed to. In fact, from here, we have now completed basic troubleshooting. So I can just close this window Keep in mind, notice that my outline is orange, indicating that I'm inside of a factory default setting. We are just going to close Blender, and I'm going to open it up once again. And we are now back to our default scene. Everything's all hunky-dory, and we are able to continue working. But in the event that you run into issues, one of the first things we'll ask that you do is enable factory defaults and attempt to try what you're doing with a vanilla setup, just to ensure that there's no other add-ons or things happening that could be interfering with the way that things are supposed to be working. 
Also, old preferences, migrating your preferences from older versions of Blender has been known to be causing irregularities. So sometimes just nuking things and starting over from scratch can be helpful for just getting a clean start and finding out if it's your system or if it's you that's having an issue. But we are definitely here to help, but we definitely want to also isolate what could be the cause. Here we see this Boolean did not work out. Another level of troubleshooting is Boolean troubleshooting where we just toggle this Boolean to be exact and now everything is good to go. But with that, we'll wrap up this video.